What's up everybody, welcome back to another comic video. It's been a while, but we have another CGC unboxing. Uh, this is Modern Tier, 15 books again. Um, let's see how we did. Okay, so I got the invoice. Uh, a little something about this. This was the submission that I, I uh, submitted in person at the convention. Uh, I did a video on that, submitting it to CGC at a convention, WonderCon. And uh, that was in April, um, you know, here we are in end of June, and it came back, so eh, not too bad, you know, two months or so, it's a lot better than it was before. But uh, there are 15 books here, um, <clears throat> there are some 9.8s, we're going to go from the uh, bottom to the best grade. Um, I'm now known what I'm going to do going forward, and I'm doing this now, is I'm actually just doing pre-screens all the way through, because I think a lot of these I... Either haphazardly put them in or just been hopeful without really really uh, scrutinizing it and some of them not that great that maybe they should have came back higher but I think I still did okay um, compared uh, if you compare the cost to the, my uh, the FMB so let's just start with the um, first one here uh, we got strange tales number 179 this is the first appearance of Pip and 5.5 off white white pages we know that uh, you know he'll be appearing at maybe guardians uh, some projects in the future because um, it was a you know obviously post credit on the eternals uh, and 5.5 uh, I definitely thought this was higher than that um, that's that's one of the ones that I was you know kind of uh, thinking was gonna be much higher and I if I just pre-screened it then I guess I wouldn't have gotten that back that's still okay because it's still old and it'll probably see a little bit of movement once the, uh, uh, you know, makes another appearance. <clears throat> uh, and then I, you know, the second one that I got, I submitted this one. See, both of these I thought were similar. And you can see the big difference here, 8.5, 5.5. Even if the other one was a little bit less, maybe 7.0, 7.5, 5.5 I did not think that would be. But 8.5, not bad. Uh, I, I did sell one of these earlier when uh, actually the week of the Eternals came out, I sold a, a 9.2 for quite a bit because it looked like really spiked at that point, right? Because everyone, everyone was excited. Uh, okay, the next one here, I don't know what they're gonna do with this. I kind of went hard on this, uh, but these are all really cheap, like less than $10 each time I would get them. And then obviously the fees. So maybe a total of like 30, $35, 40 at most for these books. Uh, but of course, it's contingent on it coming back at a, like a high nine, nine point six or better, nine point four, whatever. But this is the Darkhold number one. Um, what's interesting too uh, to note that it is a new stand, so you know maybe that'll see a little bit of a bump. But um, if they're not going to do anything with the Darkhold, then this will probably be this will probably tank. But if they do anything with Cathone. Or let's say they do a Scarlet Witch movie a solo project and they do bring back Cathone, they're gonna have to use the Dark Hole to bring them back in. So who knows? That's all spec right now, but you know, <clears throat> I was hoping that would be higher. That's another one of those books I thought was gonna be at least a 9.4. Uh, this one, uh, <laughs> I think at some point we're gonna see this character in uh, some Star Wars live action Disney Plus show or uh, movie, but uh, Star Wars number 71. First Prince of Bosk, the Bounty Hunter. You know, that Trandoshan, it's like a lizard, alligator, whatever. Uh, this is 9.0. I thought this would be at least a 9.4, but alas, that's what I was saying again. I need to, I need to start doing these pre-screens for some of these other ones, because like the volume, that's not that great. But if he does show, it'll probably spike a little bit. Uh, this one has a little bit more long-term um, potential, although it needs to be higher grade. But still, it's still not bad. Uh, it's 9.0. This is uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 294. Uh, 9.0 white pages. It's the Death of Craven storyline. It's the uh, uh, <clears throat> where he uh, hunts Spider-Man. You know, presumably kills him, and then he kills himself because he uh, hunted the biggest game that he probably ever could, and you know he can die happy now, right? Uh, satisfied, completed, whatever. But this is what I think they're basing the uh, Craven movie 
off of, at least loosely. So uh, all those books should be seeing uh, quite a bit of spike over the next couple years. And it already has been because people, as soon as they announced it, ever just jumped onto that. Obviously, his first appearance is kind of out of reach. So you got to go to the next one, right? And that storyline is another one. Is the, like the next best one. Um, next one, we have Darth Maul number two. This is the first Prince of Cad Bane, and you know, fortunately, didn't make it out of uh, the Boba Fett. But it's a fan favorite, and if they keep doing these old, uh, like, flashback uh, episodes or flashback shows where they were taking pa taking place in the past, kind of like how Obi Wan is right now, then we might see him in the past before uh, the Boba Fett, because the Boba Fett and the Mandalorian right now is the farthest in the timeline that isn't Force Awakened uh, 30 years down the line, right? This is like the farthest, like five years or so after the uh, Return of the Jedi. All right, this next one, um, I thought had an outside shot at a 9.6 or 9.8, but uh, not bad. Uh, it's the Vengeance of Bane, 9.4, First Prince of Bane. Um, white pages, this is a little bit hard because it's like, it's a square bound. So there's a lot more chances of this getting creased. But uh, I think, uh, First Prince of Bane, obviously. But, uh, you know, there was a little bit of a hint in the Batman movie with uh, Robert Pattinson where kind of like maybe there's the venom juice um, like in that world. So it's only natural that maybe people are going to speculate that Bane's there. You know, Bane's is still a popular character. Uh, people are still going to want him. So it's like, it's pretty good to get it. Um, you know, before they actually do anything solid, because you know, I obviously the the last time we saw him in a movie was Batman and Robin, or was it Batman Forever? I, I think it's Batman and Robin, where they just kind of made him this mindless oaf, and uh, you know, he's supposed to be a, you know criminal genius. So hopefully they do him a little bit, they do him justice and do him better in the Pattinson run. So we'll see. Uh, here we go, another one. Star Wars number nine, uh, 71, First Prince of Bosque again, 9.4 this time. Uh, I thought this one and the other one were going to be candidates for 9.8, but, uh, you know, at worst 9.6, but you could see 9.4 9 was the best I could do. Again, pre-screen. So from here on out, um, well, aside from the stuff I get back that had been put two months ago, but... From then on, it's gonna be pre-screens, and uh, anything that's not gonna be pre-screen, it's gonna be like higher value stuff. So it's you know kind of fine if it doesn't come back in nine eight. Um, and then of course, oh boy, they're uh, going hard in the paint on Eternals. Here we go again, nine point four first person unit mine. Yeah, these are all gonna be pretty bad until the, uh, you know if they don't do anything with them. Which right now doesn't seem like they'll do any plans, but they might take characters here and there and show them. But if you do an Eternals too. All, you know, all the eternal stuff I've been getting will spike it. But then at that point, I'm just going to try to dump them all. So maybe just kind of sit and wait for right now. Because I know they're, it's like tanking hard. All of them. So if it's like Cersei shows up somewhere else in the Avengers, uh, her first appearance from number three should spike a little bit. And I got to That's what that point. Just move it. You know, because a lot of these are obviously pretty cheap because they have been going down. So I, I get them on the cheap and then hopefully they come back higher grade than they have been. And, uh, you know, maybe they do something and then, you know, reap the rewards, but we don't know. All right. And this next one, I think, uh, is primed to be, primed to go up uh, quite a bit more. Uh, Black Panther number one, the 9.4 white pages. It's first appearance of Okoye, uh, the Dora Milaje 2. And, you know, uh, Okoye is a major character in the uh, Wakanda Forever movie. And... Uh, you know, th this is again. When I, I had a 9.0 on this, if you watched a previous video. So the second one, 9.4, not bad. But uh, this should be steadily going up because there's not that many on the census. And uh, I think the once we see a trailer and everything, it's gonna that's gonna spike. I and mean, we'll at that point probably move them right. <clears throat> All right, and this next one I thought was a 9.8. Oh, this one I should have pre-screened this. Um, Darth Vader number one. You know, I, I paid 20 bucks for this because I thought it was a good deal because I thought it was a 9-8 candidate. First Prince of Black Crescenton from um, the uh, Boba Fett show. Uh, you know, we'll probably see him in the future because he's still there and popular character. Anytime they can put bounty hunters, people are just going to uh, 
like gather around them because they're just bounty hunters just popular right but uh 9.6 uh 9.8 would have been perfect um but again lesson learned all right okay now we're getting to some good stuff Caught at least a couple of these but let's start with this one <clears throat> This is a 9.6. Uh, we just talked about the Craven um, storyline. We got the Craven storyline, and this is number 293, the one right before that. And you can see it's a 9.6, so this one is pretty good. I got this together with that for maybe 50 bucks together shipped. Um, oh, you know, a while ago, and I took time to get it pressed and everything. And I was wondering if I should submit it. And I, you know, when I saw this one, I, I thought, man, like this had really an outside shot at 9.8, but you know, because it is old from 1987. 9.6, I'll take it. This is still going to be uh, sought after, pretty high demand, especially when we get more info from the movie. So 9.6, I'm happy. Uh, but this next one, this is cool, because uh, if you saw the video that I did uh, a while ago where I, I uh, got a uh, collection in, this comic was in there, and you know, I, I paid a I didn't pay that much for that collection. I paid maybe three hundred dollars, three hundred forty dollars, something like that, for the entire collection. And this was in there. And after pressing, I thought this was going to be nine four at best, but uh, because I, I can I can see it's on here. But this is the only thing on here that I can see right now. But it's the first appearance of Deadpool. New Mutants number ninety eight. White pages nine point six. So this is easily going to be, uh, it's going to reach that thousand dollar mark real quick because they've already announced that they're working on Deadpool 3 for the MCU. They're already like, they have a writers, uh, uh, things are moving. So when we get more info, uh, the 9.8 that I have, 9.6 of this is going to spike. It's going to spike pretty hard because Deadpool is really popular. Um, and this was in that collection. So this more than doubled what, uh, what I paid for the collection. So I'm really happy about that one. And that's kind of what made my uh, <laughs> th this whole thing okay uh, in terms of the, uh, the the ROI that made up for a lot of it. Okay, and this next one, um, hopefully we see this in the Thunderbolts, uh, or definitely in future projects because she's going to be around. They just introduced her, in Black Widow, and in Hawkeye, boom! In Humans, number five, nine point eight, beautiful. Here's the first one, nine point eight alert, everyone. First appearance of Yelena Belova, uh, who's the new Black Widow now, and they just announced they're gonna do Thunderbolts, and she seems like she could be prime candidate to be a Thunderbolts character uh, team member because she works for Contessa, and I think that's probably where they're gonna be going with that. But really happy. I have a 9.6 of this, and now 9.8, perfect. That's kind of what I've been hoping for. Especially those like late 90s books is kind of tough. And then here's this last one is very interesting. So a little backstory about this. That Bane, Vengeance of Bane that I got. The guy, when, when I won an auction, it seemed like, to him at least, that uh, I, I paid, I kind of overpaid. Because I think I paid uh, maybe like 80 something dollars for it. And then shipping and everything. So it was like 90 something. Which is kind of high. So he was like, oh, you know, thank you for, for kind of um, overpaying or whatever. So he sent some comics, uh, and one of them was this. And uh, interestingly enough, they announced some kind of project of this at uh, some point. And uh, there's only like five of these in the census to begin with, so this is, this is very rare. And it is Anne Rice's interview with the vampire, number one, in a 9.8 white pages. Look at that. From 1991, so the uh, I, I don't know if it's been optioned or if there's a if it's a green green lit or whatever, but um, this has seen some movement. So he just kind of threw this in. So I was like, you know what? Um, I'll get it pressed clean because it was free. It looked it looked really good, and I I haven't there's no sales of this any anywhere recently. And there's, I think there's one listed up there on eBay, which is crazy. I think he has it listed for like three thousand dollars, because it's the only one on eBay. And there, you know, like I said, I think there's, there's only five, I think, on the census that are nine point eight. Well, rest assured, if they do anything with that show, this is gonna spike like crazy because it, you know, people love vampires. And if uh, <clears throat> if it's on a, you know, one of the streaming channels like 
I don't know, Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hulu, anything like that where it's like a legit, you know, HBO Max, whatever, then this, you know, it'll probably be good and this will probably go up. So this is just one of those freebies and uh, hopefully uh, <laughs> something comes out of that, uh, comes out with that or from that. So that, that one's kind of cool. All right. So just look at a couple numbers here. Um, my cost for everything, you know, cost of the book, shipping, taxes, pressing, uh, insurance, and the <clears throat> service, the CGC, getting it slabbed, graded, whatever, uh, cost me $1,456.66. And the current FMV today is $2,381 for a potential ROI of $924.34. It's pretty good considering I think a lot of those early ones were really bad but the big ones were the new mutants <clears throat> making up for quite a bit of that uh, that that ROI because that 9.6 really good for that and I got in that collection and of course the inhumans and uh, the inhumans one also because the inhumans uh, when I got it I got it on eBay with everything I think I paid uh, it says here I, have, I paid $171 total that's everything right and the FMV one that's like 550 bucks it could probably go up more if uh, Thunderbolts is you know comes out and does becomes like a really good big thing becomes popular and whatnot so um, that's what I got uh, let me know what you guys think about this uh, interview with a vampire if this is like real or not because um, this would be very interesting to see what this could go for because I'm, I'm thinking of putting this up on comic link um, as opposed to eBay and C what happens if it gets closer to any kind of uh, uh, announcement or anything, right? Because if there's very few out there, this could go up for a lot. So we'll see. All right, well, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, share. Um, I have two more uh, unboxings coming up and, and, and my first 9.8 pre-screen as well. So stay tuned for that. All right. All right, until next time, guys. See you.